An extraordinary adventure that befell Camilo Roldan in a trailer. Exterior, New Mexico, night. Green pieces blown into reflective angles. The Milky Way is a tree. Innumerable signal mirrors. I stumble out of my trailer into the parsimony of cacti surrounding my house and themselves with barbs. Tequila breath and bong hits watching Star Trek all day, unemployed and misapplied, my youth consumed in addiction's muted blue. I hear a coyote howl. Breeze foreshadows the spring dust storm, and I am whipped into a rage. Damn stars, you teach me nothing. You are free to wander into anyone's life. Why don't you speak to me? When does your adventure become me? Ghastly as a parody, a beam of blue light severs the desert's red-brown, and the apotheosis of Spock stands before me, says, Your emotions are laughable. All things fragmentary, this apparent narrative belongs to something else, like chunks of the Challenger spacecraft washed up on a Florida beach ten years post-incident like poems about Star Trek 40 years after the original series ended. You call this ekphrasis? Making stillness out of movement? Impossible without going fast enough to time travel. Listen, I'm no scientist. My name is Leonard Nimoy. My name is Camilo. I am all the tequila in your belly ready to come out in a motto. Be ironic and you are always puking and everything is hard to swallow. I am a pill bottle full of astronauts in a fiery spiral back to Earth. I am the only important Latino character on this, my favorite show. I am the star of this poem, still alive until the point of impact. <laughs>